Well, it's time to sell the pigs. I didn't know it'd be this difficult to catch them. <coughs> I never caught pigs before, but uh, I have got two small Yorkshires on the trailer. And for some reason, they're stubborn, they won't go into the crawl area. Uh, they won't good to feed. Let's see what we got going on here. I've had a couple of them in here, but they got out. So here's the feed. There's the pig. There's a little bit of a lip there. That I had to fill in with the hoe just now. To uh, so won't be scared to go in there. But we having to sell out because of the uh, increased production costs, which I talked about in other videos. Those videos aren't available anymore, but uh, it costs too much feed, especially these cuncoons. I'll never get cuncoons again. I'll make a video on that later. But uh, I want to keep two of these pigs, these two big ones here. That's kind of the problem separating them. And keeping them two for slaughter on the 31st of October. And I'm really gonna throw the, if I get these separated, I'm really gonna throw the feed to them two to get those fattened up. It should be a lot less stress on them with seven pigs gone if I can get them caught. Uh, I had them in there, this boar I couldn't get in. That boar got hung, so I had to kind of prop it up. So if they do go in there, I can close it behind them. I got the door closed. If I get a couple in here, I can work a couple in the trailer, close the door, open it back up, work them into the front, then start over again. But I got all day to get it done. But I do have three uh, cows on to take two, a little baby. Well, a, a baby and a, a bull calf and a heifer that we don't want. So, uh, we keep working trying to get these uh pigs caught one lesson i already learned is i'm not going to feed them the day before i load them from now on they'll be hungry and they'll go straight for the feed but we'll be back with y'all at the next step well i got two on the trailer and i cannot get the other ones loaded up uh first time loading pigs as a kid really I don't even remember loading them up back then. So I might have come up with some kind of other plan where I'm going to have to have the trailer backed in, reinforce the uh, loading alley so they can't crawl out <coughs> with some old metal fencing uh, panels I got. And I guess I'm just going to feed on the trailer uh, this afternoon. And uh, if I don't work, uh, Try again next week, but don't feed them at all the day before. That way, we'll be really hungry. Because uh, the problem is, I have two that I want to keep for the slaughter. And I had a, a good bit loaded, but there's some deer running across the field out there. It's deer season, they ain't hunting right now. There's somebody back there hunting, I can see the gates open. But there's deer back there. But anyway. I was wanting to go hunting this afternoon, but I ain't gonna go to because I got to haul these two pigs. At least these two pigs I got now I can get, get hauled. Yeah, I just cleaned the uh, pen out with the hose, trying to get them to calm down some. Uh, put the feed in the alley, put the feed on the trailer. Uh, I thought they'd walk right in after that feed, but I was wrong. Uh, first year of pigs, you know. Y'all seen some of the pig stuff we've been doing. Uh, I'm still uploading the pig videos for the, uh, the, the pig pen build. Uh, I know those are all available at one time. We better get loaded back up on again. So stay tuned for that. Uh, this is a little bit discouraging. It's the worst experience I've had with pigs. This, I had them. It's loading them right now to sell. Uh, but it's a lesson learned. So when I go to the slaughterhouse on 31st, I get to have it down pat. Uh, then loading up quickly. Cause I got to be there before nine. I'd have been. I wouldn't better make the appointment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to uh, get them used to going into the alley just like i do cows i didn't do that same thing with cows for the most part except for the ones we got today uh these little runs i'm gonna take off but let me go ahead and drink some more drink and uh warm up because 41 degrees out here this morning it's cold uh winter time is coming really cold this morning so i'm going to uh take a break and maybe they'll get out of our little house and load up i, I put panels in there between i separated two big ones but it broke free. Uh, those are scared. 
So I gotta get the panel situation set up. And uh, I might try to have, what I might do, I'm gonna give it another 15 minutes. If I can't get any loaded, I'm gonna go ahead and close the door on the squeeze on the sheet, pull the truck out back into the uh, corral for the cows, load it what I can there, haul butt to the sub barn, come back, back to trailer and again, and set it up to where they might load themselves uh, this afternoon. And if they do, I'll have to run back down to the sub barn. If not, I get him used to doing it and I haul him next Tuesday. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. At least got two on there, and two are definitely gonna be gone today. If I can get that thing in there to go in there, I close this door trap, and I have it, but they just getting got scared now. They didn't get scared, so. The rest of them are in the house, won't come out. I'm filling up the pig water now. Hopefully they'll come on out and maybe get one or more two, one or two more in there when I fill that up. And when that drum's full and it flushes out some, I'm closing up and I'm hauling butt with the, I'm gonna try to catch the cows and try to get in next week. Well, I end up having to just take two hogs and two bull calves, brought them across the calves that are wild, uh, skittish. I'm glad to get rid of these. I mean, I want to get another uh, a heifer and more pigs, but I get rid of these two calves here. I know you can't sit in there cause it's dark. That'll help me down the road catch them because these two here get spooked and are running around like crazy. So getting rid of these two today will help me in the long run uh, next week. So uh, unless something happens this afternoon, I'm going to go ahead and uh, haul these now and try to catch the melons ones later. Uh, it's cold. I'm, my nose is running. Uh, the heart's beating fast because I'm trying to these little calf here, man. These Brahma crosses ain't worth it. Uh, purebred Brahma, uh, Black Angus, way to go. I mean, you can get some, we got some three quarters and half Brahmas that are good, but it takes a lot of work, and I'm getting too old and don't have the time for that. So, uh, this is it. We're gonna take, we're gonna take them. So, uh, we'll see you next time.